Welcome to Lucy Red Stadium here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Visit Lucy Red Energy Drink at LucyRed.com and see why the energy is amazing. As the Tulsa Desperados play host to the Carolina Skyhawks. Good evening, everybody. I am Mike Daggs. Joining me in the booth is the snowball connoisseur, Gerald Smith. It it is a, a beefy man to bring down. Two wide receivers out to the right, offset eye in the backfield. South out route down to the bottom. That one is complete, getting the tight end involved. Three receivers, a tight end, and a running back in the formation. South, quick pass over the middle to the slot receiver. That one's complete for another first down. Nakai with 19 carries, Hanzo with 17 carries. They both had about the same amount of yards, 255 and 69. Another quick pass over the middle. That one is oh. once again complete. I wasn't sure if he actually caught he- that, but he caught it on the slide. First down and goal now for the Skyhawks. Ball is handed off straight oh. up the gut into the end zone. Touchdown, Skyhawks. You know, and, and forced in front of us. Four wide receivers on third down and long. Throwing there the first is. down yard there is put it picked off right on cue. Skinny Washington with the pick. The third round pick from San Jose gets the interception. So, not that time. <laughs> but your team takes over in opponent territory. Ooh, wow. Quick pass for 11 yards. JQ. Sidearms a pass over the middle, and that one is caught. Looking for their first points of the ball game. 10 of 11 on the season. Make that 11 of 12. Good from 17 yards out. Ball is handed off to oh. Douglas Brown. Finally, some oh. running game. Passing the 40, 30, one man to beat. Can he do it? No. Tackled at the 12-yard line, but a huge rush for Douglas Brown. He what, Once he reached the line of scrimmage, it looked like he was shot out of a cannon. He took off. It looked like he was a little bit kind of timid coming through, and in which he's like, well, I got it, and then took off. It was. <laughs> he's like, I got, I got nothing but green grass. A 50-yard rush down the left sideline. Mm. Yeah, fix that problem. Cue to throw. Gets it back to Douglas Brown. Brown gets it all the way up to the end zone. Touchdown, Tulsa, and they take the lead. So we're going to see how they're going to fare on this one here. Well, in second and eight, they're going to go five wide. Cue down the left sideline. Has Gabriel Manning for six. Touchdown, Desperados. And that has been one of their more successful downs. On all the drives that they had, have been on second down. They decided to take a shot to Gabriel Manning, and he was able to get past the defender. I'm not sure how, but he was able to get past the defender, and he was wide open by five yards. I, uh, I think I know how, because the man's got wheels for feet. Gabriel Manning just flying downfield. 57 left in the third quarter. Baltimore up 21-13. Mike Dax, Gerald Smith. At Lucy Red Stadium. Thank you, Cam. Whoa, just in time for are a you huge kidding me? Brown run spins three times past every defender and all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. Dulsa is piling on the points. He juked. He does spin moves. Anything he can do to get out of it. There's a spin. There's a juke. There's a broken. There's another spin, and he's gone. Wow. That was Brown. Had a 50-yard 50 50 yard rush earlier on in the ball game and decided that that was not long enough. 77 yards to the house puts him into triple-digit territory. Carolina's actually taking the Tulsa row from a defense perspective. South over the middle oh, into coverage, good. and that one is complete. Oh, they desperately needed that one. And it's a perfect situation to hit, like, a Prasad over the middle or Avalos over the middle here. South going to go up top. Instead, a deep out route is exactly what they needed. You would think Zoma would be out there for that. South, short pass over the middle, complete. And for you to only come up with three, it just it just doesn't. The way the game flow has been going, it just, how, how many times are you going to get down here, right? Yeah, I agree. But it turns a three-score game into a two-score game. So I think... Uh, it's been a while since they've it's been since the opening possession of the ball game since they've had points. You know, three chances down here to score and they hold them to a field goal, that would be great. Brown spent oh. the ball. Forget holding him to a field goal, big man running back the other direction. Not for very much, but Carolina's gonna take over. Nakai trying to 
get some yards added on to his totals. Great blocking. And Great he's blocking. going to do it right there. As he's going to get all the way up to midfield, right on cue. Two receivers on the field south. Back to pass. Goes over the middle. Has his man up at the 30-yard line. As this drive continues, south in the gun. Pumps over the middle into traffic. Caught up to the 19-yard line. Gain of 11 will give them a first down and 10 inside the red zone. Yeah, and if they don't, I would even think they might want to go for it, but we'll see. Uh, short out route. Can he get up field? Oh, oh he does. Wow. wow. I thought he was going out of bounds for sure. Avalis with the catch, the turn, and then just absolutely trucks Cameron Shaw into another dimension to get that first down. First and goal from the nine-yard line. South up top, complete. There you Touchdown, go. Touchdown, Skyhawks. Gerald, just like that, it went from being what we thought would be a three-score game to a one-score game. Two wide receivers out to the left. And he'll go right to the air. Oh, deep down the right oh. side. There's the left side line. And a very costly mistake. He's gone. Yes, it's going to be a oh my God. It's one point away from being a tie ball game. Pick six by the Skyhawk defense. Davidson Joseph with the touchdown. And I and I do believe Davidson Joseph was also the same guy who calls that fumble early on down down near the goal line there. And he comes out and makes a huge play right here, picks it off, and he gets a great block from Clint Hendershot to let him walk into the end zone. I would have I would have lost my mind over here. <laughs> South throws oh, oh, no. off and going back the other way. It's going to be another pick six, but this time for the Desperados. Touchdown, Marco Swift, and the Desperados reclaim the lead on a pick six of their own. They have four wide receivers out there so they can maximize their passing routes. South with another short drop, quick pass out to the far left side. South taking his time, snapping the ball. You don't have that sort of time, sir. Pump fakes, throws over the middle. That one's good for another first down. Third down and four. They need to, they need to hurry up. They still got some yards yeah. to carry. Pass over time, the I middle. call timeout here. Yeah, there right. you go. Pretty good time management call timeout at that point. All the receiving options out there. Oh, free play. Free play. And that one's going to be a, a very beneficial free play. Though. They'll decline the penalty, but it'll stop the clock for, uh, all for free for them. So one to the left, tight end on the line. South looks, fires, oh! end zone, touchdown Carolina. And we're a point away from tying this one back up. I will just remind you and everybody else that the league's all-time best kick returner is on the other side of the field waiting for this kickoff. Extra point is up. It is good. Q fires down the left hand side oh. and it's taken away and that is how we will end regulation he was trying to hit Gabriel Manning four wide receiver look for the Desperados out route up to the top going back to Hume once again and he'll get the first down JQ 25 to 32 here comes pass 33 Goes over the middle, and it's oh. caught. Off to the races. Is he going to make it all the way down to the six? A first down and goal, and that's just absolutely crushing to Carolina. Gonna, they're not even going to mess around. Brooke Beisel out right now for the game winner. Oh. The field goal is up. Nearly blocked, but it's good from 22 yards. So Tulsa has a scare, but they're able to come away with the win on the opening possession of overtime. 34 to 31 Tulsa with the victory that is your final score